hello you're welcome to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to draft and cut a crop top okay it's an interesting one so please remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe so sit tight and enjoy okay so i'll be starting this pattern by drafting the basic bodies so i've measured the bust point which is 11 inches then the top length so i'm sorry the camera didn't cover the top length but how long you want your top to be that's the crop top and i went ahead to fix a front zipper so that's the zipper allowance because for this particular one the zip is going to be at the front then the neckline three inches then you measure the shoulder length also then you come down by one inch at the shoulder length whatever your shoulder is you know you divide by two you come down by one inch in order to create the shoulder slope then your arm hole measurement okay so you know how to get the arm hole that will be your bust strand divided by six plus 1.5 inches and that is what i'm connecting right over right now now whatever you have on your arm hole you divide by two uh, yes you find the midpoint then at that midpoint you go in by 0 0.75 inch that's three quarter inch in order to create the arm hole curve just like so then over there you're now fixing your bust round divided by four okay so i'm using 9.5 inches for this your bust round divided by four then for the um ease allowance for the crop top you can use one inch one and a half or two it depends on how free you want it to be for this particular one the ease allowance is one and a half inches i added one and a half inches to this one for the ease allowance then on the waistline, I fix in my actual waist around divided by 4. Then add the 1.5 inches for ease also. Okay, for this particular video, I use my exact bust measurement plus ease. Then the exact waist round measurement also plus ease. And that is it. Then I came to um, fix the neck line. So my neck width is three and a half inches then the neck depth i use five inches i don't want it to be so high but you know five inches is actually not down also so please note that and yes for this i'll be mixing fabric for this particular crop top okay so in that case i find the midpoint at the shoulder and also my um that placement my that measurement where I'm supposed to put it that I measure it, then I connect this straight line. You understand? Bust to bust distance divided by two. I measure it on the waistline, then connect it to the midpoint on the shoulder. So this is just because I'm going to mix fabric for this particular crop top. That's why I have to do that. Okay. So if you are going to use a plain fabric, you don't need that. Then my ease allowance, uh, my seam allowance. Went ahead and add one inch for my seam allowance. For the clothes okay so that is it for the front of our crop top so going to the back now i measure my bust point again that's 11 inches then the top length um i think about 23 or so so you know crop length should be anything below anything from your waistline down that is just it so it doesn't have to be the length it's not going to be the length of an actual top okay so now for the neck so i'm going to measure the three inches the basic one first then your shoulder come down by half inch or uh, one inch then create the shoulder slope you know you have to create the slope first before you extend your neck measurement okay then i am creating my um, armhole also so whatever i have at the shoulder i brought it down to make sure it's a straight line so that's why i'm cross checking like that then you create the armhole yes and also the chest line so for the back you don't need to go in by three quarter inch just create a good smooth cuff there so for the neck depth for the back it depends also but i'll be using three inches for the neck depth and we know the neck width is three and a half inches the neck width of back and front should be the same but the neck depth can be different then your bust round divided by four again nine and a half then plus one and a half inch for ease okay then on the waist also you measure your waist round divided by four plus one and a half inch for ease 
just the same way we did for the back okay so then you add your seam allowance so you know seam allowance is different from the ease we added the ease is just for the crop top to be free what makes it a crop top <coughs> okay so that is it then the same thing i did for front i'm going to do it at the back my boss boss just stands on the waistline and the midpoint on my shoulder then i'll connect a straight line so this is it so this method will allow me to join my pieces of fabric together and all of that okay so then you know at the back also i'm going to be deducting three quarter inch on the waistline okay so it's just to give me a good slope at the back okay so and that is it i went ahead and labeled my pattern then cut cut it out accordingly also okay so so these are the piece of fabric i'm going to be joining together to make this crop top but i know i can do it i know i will get something out of it okay so it takes time actually but it's worth it so i was able to gather them together so i had to join a certain fabric in order to make up the the pattern so this is it so go ahead and join and also make the sleeve okay so i've joined my i've i've joined the top together so i need to go ahead and measure the arm o round in order to create the sleeve since i didn't make use of my actual measurements so definitely the arm o will be will be more than the usual so we just need to confirm first on the fabric so the length of the sleeve is going to be about seven inches then one inch for hemming allowance like i said i'm only managing this fabric and i really want to create a crop top out of it so that is the length and the hemming then my cap height which is 3.5 okay so I have a detailed video on how to draft your basic sleeve. So you can watch it for more understanding. So now I'll be using um, about eight inches for the um, arm O. Okay. And I'll just go ahead and draft my basic body slicer. So I went ahead to measure the cuff to be sure if it's going to fit into the blouse. So after doing that, I realized I need to extend it more because I'm not working with the actual my actual body measurements. So I'll have to recreate the cuff. And with this, I got what I was looking for. Now you're fixing your sleeve round also. Then you add your same allowance okay and i went ahead to confirm if i have the actual thing again so that is it with the sleeve so i went ahead and cut out the fabric also for the sleeve okay so this is the top this is what the top looks like the bodies look like so the next thing to fix in the sleeve okay so this is the this is what it looks like it's for a breastfeeding mother so that is why we have the zipper at the front like i said so it's as simple as this so thank you for watching remember to give it a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to my channel thank you bye